All right, so today I'm looking at something very, very, very beautiful. All right, it's not what the video is about, but uh, let me just show you real quick. My brand new 2021 SC Lights Big Flyer. Only got one sticker on right now, but it's all right. All right, so basically this video is going to be some tips and tricks on how to wheelie not showing you how to wheelie just yet but i'm just going to show you a little little tip all right so tip number one is your best friend if you know how to wheelie then you know exactly what i'm talking about you have to get comfortable with your best friend your best friend in this case will be your brakes right here these brakes will save you from anything. You go back too far, you press the brakes. You're doing combos, you press the brakes. You're going real slow, you press the brakes. You press the brakes for everything. That's how people are so good at wheeling. You probably see them wheeling down the block and everything and like, how do they have that balance? We have balance, but we also have our tips. And that is one of the biggest tips of all time is pressing the brake. Always keep your finger on the brake. All right, I'm not really gonna sure show you guys too much about how you're supposed to keep your brakes. But um, if, if you're really big into wheeling, you're gonna know that you always wanna tune up your brakes every now and then. See so over here, you wanna make sure your brake pads aren't rubbing up against the rim because then you won't be able to cuddle at all you just have forever lasting brakes i guess and then another way to tune your brakes up is right here you just spin this little thing right here this little knob and then spin this one in a little bit more i don't know if you guys can really see that you spin this in a little bit and what it does is it makes it so that when you pull the brake it's pulling more of the wire which makes it easier to pull your brakes so when you're wheeling you're gonna want your brakes to be tappy tappy meaning you don't have to pull them all the way back you just pull it just a little bit and it stops you from falling all right so if you look right here i don't know what other people like to do i know a lot of people like to do maybe two fingers or three fingers i don't know if i can do that it's kind of weird but uh, okay uh, anyway i like to keep one finger on so that I have my other three, four fingers I guess, have to come through, forgot about that one. Uh, one finger on it, just so that I, I can still hold on to my handlebars. All right, now, if you look right here, uh, this is how I like to normally ride. Even if I'm wheeling or just chilling, doing whatever, no matter what, I always have my one finger on the brake. That's how I get comfortable with the brake. If you're not comfortable with the brakes, you're just gonna fall. Straight like that, you're gonna fall. Alrighty guys, so for this tip, you really don't need to see the bike. This is just me talking. I'm pretty sure that's what the whole video is. But um, for this tip, basically, you just have to find your comfort zone. Whichever bike you ride, however you ride it, just make sure you have your comfort zone. A lot of people like to wheelie and land all these tricks and everything, but they don't have their comfort zone. So it doesn't even look like they're having fun. They're just doing it. I know you guys probably heard a lot of YouTubers talk about this because it is very important. When you're riding, you want to have your own swag. You don't want to be sitting here looking all stiff, all stiff trying to wheelie and stuff. You got to have your own swag, all right? So just remember that. Remember that always. All right, we're going to get into tip number three now. All right, tip number three is the seat. A lot of riders like to have their seats slanted. And the reason for this, so when you got the bike up and you're doing a nice little wheelie or whatever, you do not fall back. If you, if you get to 12 o'clock, and as you as you learn the wheelie, you'll, you'll figure out what 12 o'clock is. It's basically just when your wheels are straight up and down vertical up and down if you ever get to that point you won't fall back and hit the tire or the ground if you press your brakes of course now um 
I, I find this very helpful. When I first got the bike, I was just wheeling it without fixing the seat and it felt super horrible. But as soon as I slanted the seat, all my problems were just poof, gone. Alrighty. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's basically about it for that tip. I guess we'll get into tip number four. All right, so for tip number four, there's really nothing much to it. It's just your handlebars. Figure out what angle you like your handlebars at. If you're buying a brand new bike, your handlebars will probably be matching up with your with your landing gear, your forks. Um, I like to push mine a little bit forward a little bit because I feel like it just gives me more arm space so that I'm not all crunched up because I'm kind of a tall guy. But um, it's really just what you prefer. All right, so the last tip that I will give to you guys is the pedals. When you're pedaling to bring up the bike to actually do the wheelie, you want to know what is your most dominant foot. Now me, my most dominant foot is my right foot. So when I pedal and I go to pick it up, when I go to pick it up, I'm using my right foot to push down on the pedal and bring the bike up. It just helps a lot. A lot of people try and just sit there and don't pedal and then pick it up. That's not going to help you. It takes upper body strength and your legs too. Alrighty, so um, that's that's about the end of the video. If you stayed this long, thank you because this is my first actual video. Can't believe I actually did it all by myself. And I'm sitting here talking to a camera. But if I know there's people watching, it's okay. It's okay. So um, yeah, thank just thanks for staying to the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most definitely, please comment how I did. Give me some tips and and tricks on how to make a good YouTube video that people will actually sit and watch. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Make sure you guys also stay up to date on my Instagram. I will be having, I will be hosting, hosting, not posting. Well, yes, I do post every single day. So you should stay tuned for that too. But what I was actually saying, uh, soon I will be hosting another ride out, which will be super big, hopefully. Um, yeah, I host ride outs, giveaways, daily content, memes, everything. So make sure you guys go and check out my Instagram. Uh, I think it'll be right here, or right here, right here, right here. Uh, no, in the description. It'll be in the description for sure. All right. Peace.